Welcome to Wine Country, ladies and gentlemen, as we are here in Sonoma Raceway in Sonoma, California for the running of the Toyota Save Mart 350. Hey there guys, Mikey here, the NASCAR 15 Let's Play continues with the first road course of the season. With 11 challenging turns, both left and right, drivers have to shift gears both literally and mentally to make their way around this challenging course. It's the last of the NASCAR on Fox themed races for the season and we're hoping to close it out with an exciting finish for the first half. It's time to find out who will drive home a winner here on McBlam Racing. Reaching up, pull those belts tight. All right, One more time. time to go racing on the road course. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys, and we'll see you in February. First lap is complete. Doing really well. Got out to an early lead. As we're trying to make our way around this course, trying to be smooth and calm. We're out front two seconds ahead of Greg of second place Greg Biffle. Followed by the Bush brothers. It's like Kurt Bush and Kyle Bush. We're just now getting used to this track and having a lot of fun. So keep in mind, this is this is going to be a little bit interesting because this is the first time I'm actually doing a full post-commentary race. So you get to hear my reactions both in race, which will sound like it's coming from a radio, and the post-reaction. To it so this should be interesting and what I've actually done is I've waited a couple of days so that I re so that I don't Pretty necessarily cool, remember Hold a lot of details right Keep digging, buddy. It's not over yet yeah, all in the fast lap of the race so far open it up an extra two seconds over Greg Biffle now 4.3 back to the second place car Just trying to be nice and smooth, hit our marks. Follow the big black line, as, as you would say. Ooh, looks like we're starting to get a little bit loose here. Well, excuse me, not loose, but tight. Having a little bit of trouble turning this car. But it's not, not a big enough problem to actually cause cause the uh, cars behind us to catch up as it looks like Biffle and Kurt Busch have pulled away so we're going through the hairpin turn 11 a lot of mass a lot of passes are made in that turn as long as we're able to ooh, a little bit tight there You're yeah great. Nice and steady. Second place is way back yes he is but that doesn't mean we can't make a mistake. So let's just 
Try to take it nice and easy through these S's. Boy, sliding everywhere. It's one of those things I kind of enjoy that. It's actually a lot of fun to slide around the track. It's like you're just kind of barely hanging on and you're just kind of like that, that you're fishtailing a little bit, but not so much that you're out of control. It's almost like a controlled slide. So you're like, you're, you're pretty much drifting for the most part. So it's always fun. That's why I always kind of liked coming here, whether I'm doing good or bad. And my first time here was actually last season at the, U well, at, you know, playing on a U Technics game it was my first time. And I was just sliding absolutely everywhere. I was having an absolute blast. <laughs> Although I did cause a few accidents. We're trying not to do that this time around. We're trying to be a little bit more cleaner. Oh boy, yeah. We're starting to have a little bit of trouble turning now. We can do this all day. Yeah. Yeah, starting to have a little bit of trouble turning now. <laughs> As you hear there on the radio, just having a little bit of trouble turning. I knew this would happen, just gonna have to be a little bit conservative. Yeah, let's name it a game. We've got a pretty big lead over over second over seven seconds over second place, Greg Biffle. So we have room to be conservative here. The question is when will pit stops happen and will they happen? Because that that pit stops will play a big role, and if we have a if we make a mistake coming on a pit road or anything, not that it's usually that hard. We just got to be a little bit careful. Let's see, fight back. Oh! Fight back. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Ooh, close call. Great save, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. <laughs> Uh, when I come down pit road, I'm going to have to change my underwear as well as the tires, so just uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> I forgot I said that. That's the, the yeah. No <laughs> Almost lost day. it. We, we just, we just got, we got, tried to get a little bit too much into that little S-curve there and just wound up almost losing it. Like I said, like it's, I, I, I. It was supposed to be a controlled slide, but I lost control of the slide, <laughs> so it didn't work out for me too well there. And it allowed Biffle to close in, close the gap by two seconds. Now he's only 5.3 back, as opposed to 7.3 back, which he was before I started to almost spin out. As we go through the S's the downhill S's. The one thing I've, I've never been pretty keen on is what turn is what. So you're not going to hear me say a whole lot of, you know, what turn I'm in, except for like, turn, you know, the hairpin. You won't hear me say a lot of that just because I don't know. I don't know which turn is what. Um, I know where turn seven is, uh, because if you follow, oh boy, wow. Really pound that wall that time. What are you doing? Real, keep doing real it. tight through that. Yeah, we're getting real, real tight through that, uh, through that hairpin there. Yeah. You see, we're getting real tight. Just having a lot of, yeah. Wait, we're just having a lot of trouble turning this car now. It feels like the uh, front tires are starting to slide a little bit, which is odd. I've noticed, like, I, I can feel the tire wear. Yeah, the car won't turn like it was before. Yeah, I can feel the tire wear. It's so weird, but I don't see it. That wedge, that wedge adjustment really helped out, but it just seems like over time this handling starts to go away. Car gets really tight. Yeah. And what I was saying is like I made a wedge adjustment before this race because I was running the. Uh, Delta Force Racing, Delta Force HC um, setup for this track, and I was I was fine for a while, 
but I noticed like after around the second lap, I started to start, I started to get tight. It wasn't turning like I wanted it to. So I took a round of wedge out of the car and it just kind of worked miracles. So we're approaching 10 to go now. So 10 to go. Nice yeah, we're approaching 10 to go now. Use that clean air. Yeah, 5.6 back and we're starting to hit lap traffic. So this is going to be interesting with a right poor side. handling car. Well, not a poor handling car, but a car that's not handling as good as it was before. And now having to contend with traffic. All right. We try to work our way around Josh Wise. Right yeah. <laughs> so we're getting a little bit frustrated Our with him. <laughs> we're... Kind of beating down his back bumper a little bit. We do manage to get around him. That's one thing in a, around on a road course. It's really hard to pass. So it gets really frustrating when you're in lap traffic and they're just in the way. You see, I'm trying to work my way around Michael and Nett, trying to set him up here in turn 11. Doesn't look like I'm going to get there before I can, outside. though. A little nudge, like I know I want to get by. All right. I need to tell these lap cars to get out of the way. <laughs> Time to go. If there, I'm assuming if there was a spotter, I'm assuming if there were spotters for these lap cars, they would be being told or being yelled at. <laughs> All right. Our Work our way That's around Michael and Nett. Clear him fairly easily. We go through the upwards S's. Coming down to a couple of my favorite turns. I actually like these turns. Yeah, this is where you watch N2 SC4. I believe this is where he sits. So. Going through the downwards S's now, which are usually not my favorite. Let's see, we're starting to get a little tight. We're, we're really sliding these front tires now. You see me like, see, you hear me working the gas. Like, I'm not ever fully on it. I'm either tapping it or just kind of goosing it every now and again because the, the handling's starting to go away. Biffle is now closed in over a second. All right, Michael. Eight to go. These lap cars are hey, killing me, man. Here. Keep digging. Kind of hard to use clean air when I got a freaking gaggle of cars in front of me. <laughs> right side yeah, I always, I always didn't notice that uh, that the cars that the, the spotter will say like use the clean air. But he only says that because we're, you know, we're we're in the lead. It's like they don't necessarily know that they're or programmed to. Oh gosh, big contact with Michael Waltrip. I guess he didn't like the fact that I was trying to move him out of the way. We work our way inside of Danica Patrick. Yeah, but they don't seem to notice that there's lap cars that I'm still contending with. So still in dirty air here. Oh boy, yeah. Really sliding now. Inside. Inside, it's like Michael Waltrip's trying to race me here. Ooh, yep. Inside. Yeah, that's enough to get frustrating. Car inside you. I'm trying to, trying to adjust the brake bias. See if that helps any. Ooh. Yep, well, right. I knew that was coming. <laughs> knew that was coming. Seven to go. We having fun out there? Not really. <laughs> now I had it with this lap traffic now. <laughs> yeah, the frustrations are starting to really run high for me now. I'm trying my best to work my way around these cars, but it's just... 
Every time I try to make a move on them, it looks like they're blocking, but they're actually just kind of running their line. Car outside, trying to get to your corner. Now, there are some that, in certain instances, where they are kind of all over the place. But, it, that's not the case with a lot of them. It's just, it's really hard to pass. So, we almost need something, like, in, in future games... That'll say like, "Hey, uh, we got a, we got one of the leaders behind you. Go ahead and and let them buy. You know, don't race them." And they did have some things like that in the older games. You see, Greg Biffle's now closed up to a two-second gap because I'm trying to get around this lap traffic. But yeah, they did have something like that in older games. Certain cars, certain cars would just let you buy. Oh boy. My car coming out of the pits here. I'm going a little, swing a little bit wide here. Ooh, Yaley off in the grass. Yeah, there definitely needs to be something to to say like, hey, you got the, you're going a lap down. You, you're a lap down. You got the leaders coming, so uh, just go ahead, and get out of the way. You know, the whole, uh, was it the blue flag, or whatever, blue and black flag. I can't remember what the color is. Let's let you know, like, go ahead and get out of the leader's way. They're coming. All right. Greg Biffle has fallen back to fourth. So that means Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch have now inherited second and third. Car one back. And Kurt Busch is coming. Clear from Bobby Labonte. These guys are really racing hard up here. Ooh, contact. Ryan Newman's trying to work his way up through the pack as we get we catch up to our old friend Ty Dillon. And by friend, I mean probably Hard one of our go. mortal enemies. Whatever you're doing, we had quite you keep a, doing it. We had quite a few runs and run-ins with him last season. So you can imagine I'm not going to cut him any slack as I don't. As I send him off in the grass, he does manage to gather it back up, and now we're catching up to Regan Smith. Ooh, boy, Ryan Newman is being real aggressive. Trying to get around these cars. Got a car closing on your outside. We'll work our way to the inside. Oh, Newman and McDowell get together. As Newman gets around them, nope. Oh, they're still Looking beating outside. and banging. So we work our way around Regan Smith. Trying to get around Michael McDowell side. now. These guys are getting a little too racy for my taste. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's always a little bit unnerve-wracking when they get to beating and banging around you on this road course. Because you don't want to end up in their mess. And we got to hope Ryan Newman won't give us any trouble, but... Let's, let's be honest, we are talking about Ryan Newman here as he makes a bold move to the inside of Jeb Burton. Burton goes wide, and we get back around him. Okay, working our way to around right Ryan Newman. This 31 is all over Before the place. <laughs> we can do this all day. Car inside at your door. He's trying to work around Casey Beers, but ooh boy! <laughs> Dang freaking Ryan Newman, man! <laughs> Car inside, just looking. <laughs> Yep, wasn't too happy with that one because he kind of he moved he moved me out of the groove there. Boy, yeah, he moved me out of the groove, and so that's the thing I don't like. I don't like when they race me like that because they're they're not they're in the way at this point. So me and Riga Smith make contact, and Kurt Busch has now closed in on us. He now worked our way around Michael McDowell. Trying to get around Jeb Burton here, but he is really not making it easy for us. I ain't gonna have too much more of these guys getting in my way. <laughs> yeah, we're really, really fighting this lap traffic here. We managed to open it up to a second again over Kurt Busch. But if we don't get around Jeb corner. Burton, he's gonna catch us. Going through turn 11. He's gonna be trying to... 
trying to get him out of the way. He just... I am trying so hard. Ready to go. Oh man, I must have hit him like four or five times now. Yeah, we're trying. I'm trying. This freaking 26 won't move. <laughs> it's amazing. He's managed to gather it up every time I've hit him. Every time I've given him the bumper. And yep, we're starting to lose it a little bit here. And that was Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is now to our inside as he muscles us up the track. And he in, he takes the lead. We're going to try to work to his inside. Can't quite get there. Kurt Car Busch is now the race pit. leader. But the, he might be heading into the pits. Which now diverts my attention to the fuel here. I wonder if we can make it on fuel. trying to work our way he's trying to work around Jeb Burton but Jeb Burton's not giving him a whole lot to work with Kurt Busch is heading down pit road Watch your outside. and Kyle Busch both the Bush brothers are headed down pit road Left side's clear. trying to see if Greg Biffle is also part of that party yes he is Tony Stewart and Harris the fourth place to go. Oh, oh a lot of people coming down pit road we're now five seconds ahead of Tony Stewart and Jimmy Johnson as we give him another boot. Inside. <laughs> He's just not playing nice with us. Jeb Burton is not playing nice with us. Not whatsoever. Jeb Burton the is the bane of my existence right now. He is the bane of my existence. <laughs> outside at your door He's voicing our displeasure with Jeb Burton as we have finally gotten around him and Casey Mears who went off in the grass I'll leave finally yeah <laughs> oh boy but here comes the here comes the question as we are coming down for one to go what are we gonna do? What will Get we do? Frick it. I'm going for <laughs> it. I'm going for it. Stand out. I'm going for it. There's the call. We Our have to make back. it all the way around this track one more time with that little bit of gas on, in our tank. Lane, White Do flag is in the nice air. Day. One to go. Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, and Jeff Gordon have come down pit road. Jeb Burton is all over our back bumper. Car closing on the inside. We weren't giving him a whole lot of room there. That was kind of a little bit of payback. Car inside, trying to get to your corner. As you can hear us, we're not on the gas, barely at all. We're trying to conserve fuel as much as we can. And we're going to start popping the clutch here in a little bit. Chase Elliott gets his lap back. Labonte gets his lap back. Oh boy, yeah. We popped the clutch and still got into Labani. Go off through the grass. Trying to let him by. Kurt Busch is back in second place. AJ Albendinger, the road course ringer, has now inherited third. Giving all these guys their lap back. Oh man. Oh boy, this is nerve-wracking. As we're coming through the final turns one more time around. All we have to do is make it through the hairpin and we will we will take our fourth win of the season. Through the final turn, popping the clutch. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. <laughs> Here we come to the finish line and we will take our fourth victory in the NASCAR 15 yeah. series. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Great job. Awesome. Awesome, buddy. Unbelievable. Yes. All day long. Way to get it done, man. Uh. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. That is gambling right there. Woo. Unbelievable. <laughs> 
Oh, we're gonna try to smoke them down. We're gonna get it over here where we can. Uh, we got a little bit more room. They're loving you for that one, man. Unbelievable! Our first ever victory at Sonoma. Our first ever victory at a road course. Period. We have come close so many times and just just couldn't get the job done and we finally finally did it at one of our favorite tracks we finally managed to to score a victory at a road course and in dramatic fashion running out of gas as we were coming to the line these burnouts are surely deserved. <laughs> they are so deserved right now. Unbelievable. Soak it up, man. Great job today. Oh, yeah. Get all of that smoke going. All of that smoke. Yes, sir. Time to do some celebrating in victory lane. Great win for us, for Team Chaos. Sponsored by Tiger Moin Energy. Definitely, definitely well-deserved win there. After dominating, we do it in dramatic fashion. We win the race here at Sonoma. I forgot the name of the event already. <laughs> But we also lost the fastest lap of the race. So two achievements on us. Kurt Busch runs second. AJ Allmendinger, the road course ringer in third. Kyle Busch in fourth. Greg Biffle in fifth. Ryan Blaney in sixth. Brad Keselowski in seventh. Eighth is Clint Boyer. Ninth is Tony Stewart. And rounding out the top ten will be Jimmy Johnson. And here you can pick out your favorite driver from the remainder of the field. So we had Dale Earnhardt Jr. finish in 17th. Our come roll in 29th, 27th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Ryan Newman back in 30th after putting us off into the grass. We weren't too, we we're none too happy about that, but hey, like I said, well-deserved win. And let's see how many cars we actually finished on the lead lap, because we gave a lot of laps back. Okay, for 40th, Michael Walter. Okay, guys, so here are the points standings. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is your points leader of Hendrick Motorsports with two wins and ten top tens. We are now moved up into second with four wins, nine poles, and 11 top tens. Kurt Busch is actually, of Stuart Haas Racing, actually fall back to third with one win and eight top tens. Brad Kozlowski of Team Penske Racing with one pole, with one pole and seven top tens. Tony Stewart of Stewart Haas Racing with nine top tens in fifth. Jeff Gordon in sixth of Hendrick Mo with Hendrick Motorsports with seven top tens. Denny Hamlin of Joe Gibbs Racing with six top tens in seventh. AJ Allmendinger of the JTG Doherty Racing with five top tens in eighth. Ninth will be Greg Biffle of the Roush Fenway Racing with two poles, two wins, and five top tens in ninth. Tenth is Jimmy Johnson of Hendrick Motorsports with nine top tens. Eleventh will be Carl Edwards with one pole, five top tens for Joe Gibbs Racing. And let's see, um, looks like next will be, twelfth will be Kyle Busch of Joe Gibbs Racing teammate with one win, one pole, and five top tens. Martin Truex Jr. will be 13th with Furniture Row Racing with one win and five top tens. And next person will be Jamie McMurray will uh, Jip Ganassi Racing with one win and two top tens. He'll be 13th. 14th will be Austin Dillon with one pole, uh, sorry, one win and five top tens for Richard Childress Racing. 15th will be Matt Kenseth with Joe Gibbs Racing with two wins, one pole, and six top tens. And the rounding out the challenges will be Ryan Blaney for, the, for Wood Brothers Racing with one win and ten, four top tens. And those are your challengers 
for the chase. Alright guys, so I do hope you enjoyed this uh, new format that I'm trying out. Um, I'm still going to have to work out quite a few kinks with it and everything as far as doing the post commentary as well as having the excuse me, as well as having the uh, in-game commentary as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It definitely was a lot of fun and the way I had to do this uh, if you guys are wondering, the way I have to do this is I have to wait a couple of days so I don't remember all the details of the race so it doesn't become like a, a bore or anything like that to me or anything or and make sure I'm not rambling through so that gives the uh, radio chatter enough time to play through and everything like that so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it I had a blast here and my gosh, this was just a this was just a heck of a heck of a finish. I never could I never would have thought. I honestly was kind of thinking I was going to run out of gas <laughs> and just and not make it. And that's why I started like popping the clutch and everything like that. And I was still pretty fast at the turns, but I'm just I'm really 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 happy I got a win here. First ever win on a road course, never won before, so that's always something that's always a that's always a good feeling to get your first win at a track that you don't normally win at. Uh, so that came close a few times, but you know, leader just gets out there sometimes, and there's nothing you can do. Um, and these longer races probably make for a little bit more of a. But it helps you get up there a little bit, even though I kind of dominated for quite a while. Um, but yeah, uh, much deserved win, um, despite all the frustrations I was having. I uh, didn't. <laughs> It's so weird, I, I, you know, when when you're not, when you're just, when I'm just recording and I'm not, like, doing it for commentary purposes, I'm mainly doing it just, like, general reaction to what's happening. It's amazing how frustrated I actually get, <laughs> allow myself to get when I'm not thinking about commentary. So, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next week we will be at Daytona. We will return to Daytona. Uh, the NASCAR on the NASCAR on Fox theme races will be done. We're going to transferring over to NASCAR on NBC themes. Still trying to work that out a little bit, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I do these races every weekend following the NASCAR season. And I will see you guys at Daytona.